Transconductance Amplifiers Part 1. Part 1 will cover JFETs, Part 2 is MOSFETs, Part 3 is vacuum tubes. Transconductance. Well, we're going to start with conductance. Conductance is the inverse of resistance. So Ohm's law states that resistance is equal to voltage over current. Conductance is the inverse of resistance. So conductance equals 1 over R, which means that conductance is equal to current over voltage. So what we've done is inverted. This was voltage over current. Now we have current over voltage. A transconductance amplifier has a gain called conductance GM. Conductance GM is equal to the output current divided by the input voltage. Trans transconductance amplifier. This means that an input voltage V in controls an output current I out. So if we look at this formula again, we have our conductance is equal to the output current over the input. So what that means is that we're going to have a little input voltage and it's going to control a lot of output current. Uh, the units of conductance are Siemens and a typical conductance is 1500 micro Siemens. Uh, the the uh, conductance spec is a characteristics of a transconductance transistor similar to beta. So we had a beta in a transistor, like we had 2N3904, we said the beta is 100. In a JFET or transconductance amplifier, they'll have a conductance spec and it'll be like 1500 micro siemens. So we're going to look at field effect transistors. Uh, FETs are a type of transistor separate from a bipolar junction transistor, BJT, that we studied previously. So when we looked at 2N3904s, that was a B BJT. We just call them transistors. Uh, BJT is a current device, is that we have a base current, I in, is going to control I out, the collector current. A FET is a transconductance device where the input voltage, V in, controls the output current, I out. So this is what uh, the first uh, FET we're going to look at is called the JFET. It's a junction gate field effect transistor. Uh, what happens now is we have a different symbol. This is the N channel JFET. And look at that. They spelt it wrong. I can't believe that. Oh. So anyhow, uh, the arrow points in for an N channel. This is what we would use with positive voltage sources. A P channel, the arrow points out for negative voltage sources. So this is the exact opposite on the arrows of a BJT. Um, this is the, the gate is the equivalent of the base, the drain is the equivalent of a collector, and the source is the equivalent of an emitter. What's interesting is that you can't really tell which is the drain and the source uh, from the diagram here. So JFED input characteristics, uh, this is one of their really strong points, is their extremely high input impedance, greater than 10 mega ohms, right? So it allows very low input voltages to be measured in the microvolt and picovolt range, right? So what you'll find is the uh, they'll use some sort of JFET or a FET uh, as the input on oscilloscopes and uh, voltmeters and uh, capacitors measurements, test gear, uh, when you want to measure extremely low signals. Uh, some more JFET characteristics, they're static sensitive. They need You need to be aware of handling and grounding. So they're extremely sensitive to static. You can pick one up and boom, it's gone. Pick up a circuit board with a JFET on it and you got some static in you, it'll blow it. So you always have to make sure you're properly grounded. Uh, they have similar characteristics to beta for a BJT. The JFETs have conductance. So we had beta was equal to the collector current over the base current. Conductance is equal to the drain current over the gate source voltage. So let's take a look at that JFET conductance. So we have our JFET here. This is our N channel. <laughs> it's spelt wrong still. Uh, we have our gate source voltage, so the voltage from the gate to the source, very similar to B, uh, base emitter voltage. This is the gate source. So the gate source voltage will control the drain current. The drain goes from the drain to the source. So that's the drain current ID. Uh, 
The units again are microsiemens. So our conductance is equal to the drain current, which is our output, over our gate source voltage. Uh, let's take a look at a JFET as an inverting amplifier. So because it has such a large um, input impedance, we can ignore it. It's going to be 10 mega ohms, 20 mega ohms, a huge amount. So whatever resistor we put as the gate resistor to ground becomes the input resistance, right? So whatever resistor here determines the input resistance. Uh, v in goes into the gate. So we have our input voltage is going into the gate. V out comes from the drain. And what we see is V out is 180 degrees out of phase. It's an inverting amplifier. This type of amplifier, we call it the common source amplifier. You'll, you'll hear that name. Uh, the gain is equal to negative conductance times the drain resistor. So this resistor is and the conductance of this JFET are what determine the output gain. And AV is our voltage gain. So let's do an example. So in this example, we have a, a JFET with a conductance of 1800 microsiemens. Uh, we have a drain resistor of 3.3K. We have an input signal of 100 millivolts peak to peak. And we have a gate resistor of 100K. First thing we do is we use our gain calculation here. AV is equal to minus the conductance times the drain, uh, drain resistor. So we get minus 1800 microsiemens times 3.3K. Work that out, it gets minus 5.94. The negative sign means that the output is out of phase with the input. V out is our standard gain formula of gain times V in. Uh, our gain was minus 5.94. Our gain, our VN is 100 millivolts peak to peak. V out will be minus 594 millivolts peak to peak. Uh, Zn is equal to whatever resistor we put for RG, 100K. So Zn is 100K. Example two, our gain is 1256 microsiemens. Our drain resistor is 7.5K. VN is 65 millivolts peak to peak. And our gate resistor is 75K. What we have to do is find our gain, find V out, and find our input impedance. So the answer is the gain is minus 9.42. Our V out is minus 612.3 millivolts peak to peak, which means it's 180 degrees out of phase with Vn. And Z in is 75K. It matches here. A JFETs can be used as a voltage follower. The gain will be one. That's the definition of a voltage follower. V out is taken from the source lead. So here's our source lead. V out is coming from here. So let's do a JFET voltage follower example. What is the gain? AV. What is V out? What is R in? So our input voltage is 297 millivolts peak to peak. This JFET has a conductance of 1,432 micro Siemens. We have our gate resistor is 150K. Well, our gain is one. It is a voltage follower. We're taking the output off of our uh, uh, source lead. V out will equal Vn, so we have 297 millivolts peak to peak is Vn. V out will be 297 millivolts peak to peak. Rn will be whatever Rg is, 150K. That completes part one of transconductance amplifiers. Um, we'll be working on part two.